Hey, what's going on, guys? You guys should be able to hear me. I don't usually play with my mic on, so... Yeah, 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 I'm commentating, man. Time to get underway. I don't know why my stream is so fuzzy, the quality is so fucking doo, doo right now, I don't know why.
Guys, if you're here, place your bets. They're just betting on the side, some side bets. I might get on the action. I'm not going to say exactly who I think is going to win, but uh, I think uh, I think if I were to be a betting man, I think my money would be well placed. Looks like our first fight is gonna be K Droma and Gushman against Kelitia and Del Rue. Del Ro? Del Rue? I wanna watch this. I'm gonna be standing in the middle of the fighting. Uh, trying to get the front lines of action here. Yeah, TKM Jedi sounds pretty, uh, pretty good, if you ask me. I think that's uh, definitely a top pick. I would, uh, if I was to be putting my money on a, on a, on a comp, I would definitely be putting it on that. Another comp that I think is really good, I don't think anybody's doing this tournament, would be like a fence or smuggler. If there is a Spencer, uh, fence or smuggler team, that'd be pretty good in my opinion.
Get the first match here. Who is it? Felicia Delru from Misk against K and Gush. So K and Gush, these guys are two like OG EU players on uh, the server. Gush been around for a while. K obviously been playing SDVG for like a long time. Uh, K is a TK player. Plays Terras Kazi. Kind of what he's known for. Gush plays a lot of different things. He's historically a bounty hunter, but looks like he's a Jedi now. That's pretty wild. Jedi, obviously, pretty good uh, in the current game right now. Um, not many other things can uh, compete at the level unless somebody other, on the other team has Breach. However, I think they're fighting, what is this, Double Creature Handler? This looks like some sort of like Double Creature Handler team, which is pretty toxic, I'm not going to lie. So I'm kind of interested to see how this is here. By the way, guys, if uh, something is off with the audio or whatever, please just... Let me know if you can hear my voice or if the music's too loud, just let me know. Sorry if the stream quality is a bit like fuzzy for some reason. I don't know why it's like this. It's usually not like this, but it's being extra weird today. So we're gonna get into this first match here soon, I think. Alright, here's the countdown for the fight. We're gonna get into it here soon. Again, it's Gush K Drama versus Kelicia and uh, Delaru. Sorry if I'm saying that name wrong, but it looks like it's Double CH versus Jedi TK. There it is. Fight starts. So right off the bat, both pets going in on K. Looks like he's just he's just running in there right now with the TK speed thing, and then you've got a uh, gush falling behind the quick force lightning coming out. Delru is being double teamed right now. I don't know where his teammate is. Kind of just ran off. Delru taking a lot of damage here. Big hits. Look at those debuffs. He's got a full line of debuffs right now. He's about to go down, and he's out. Kalicia. I don't know what the plan here was. Uh, oh, is Kalicia a Jedi? Is this like a Jedi CH? Just kind of running away here. Her teammate's are dead though, so it's a pretty rough spot. Gets rooted. They're stacking up the debuffs here. Force choke, in fact, this is not where you want to be. They got good buffs though, like they, they've got the clicknick boost, they got some good buffs here. So, they definitely know what they're doing, but they're in a bit of a tricky spot. Right now, Gush and K can just kind of like, wait on them. Yeah, about to go down here. Big grenade. Gonna go for the DB. That's the first match. Holy moly. That was quick. That was a lot quicker than I thought a match with the Terras Kasi uh, Master was gonna be. Yeah, good fights going up. Holy moly. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably the quickest fight I've ever seen with a Terras Kasi Master in it. In my history of playing Star Wars Galaxies. So that was good stuff by uh, K and Gush right there. Holy moly. So I don't really know what the Misk Boys strategy there was, unfortunately. Um, you know, uh, 
the Jedi kind of just ran away from their teammate and just left them out in the open. I, I don't really know what the play was. Um, may have been some miscommunication or something, but definitely not what you want to see here in this first match. By the way, if you don't like the music, I apologize, but not really, because I'm trying to listen to some good beats watching these fights right now. I'm going to collect my money, dude. Put some bets on this fight. They'll be in the loser's bracket. That's true. I forgot there's a loser's bracket. Yeah, K and Gush is scary. It's a very scary team right there. I would not be surprised if they won the tournament. TKM plus Jedi sounds like a nightmare to deal with. Yeah, I agree. Go, in, go all in on Gush. I don't know, they look like, what, do they like Enhancer Creature Handler or something like that? I wasn't familiar with the build, but uh, I don't know, like Force Breach on Gush and then just full send up, like all the pets on him? I don't know. Oh, of course, uh, T1573. Yeah, man, for sure, dude. I love commentating. I, I don't play this game too much these days, but I still love it. I still have a passion for this server, and I love to see all these people out here coming out for this tournament. It's, that's good stuff. All right, let's see who we got in the next match here. Venator and Kardaka. Oh no, that's a. Uh, they're just winning a bet. Never mind, never mind. I was about to say. Ignore me, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so we've got a little Imperial Civil War here. We've got Monkey D, Luffy, and Kardaka uh, against Kovac and Kex. So Kovac and Kex, um, this is a double commando team, I think. I think Kex is still playing Mando. I want to say, yeah, it looks like it. This is a double commando versus, uh, I believe, Jedi Fencer. I think Monkey D, Luffy still Fencer. Yeah. So this is uh, definitely pretty tricky. I don't know how I feel about this. I do think this is interesting. Either commando player. Uh, historically, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, Commando not really good in these sort of like small fight scenarios here, but um, with two of them, if, you know, if they've got, I think Kodak might be like MCM Commando. If he is, that would be definitely pretty good here. Um, it's gonna be really tricky for them to try and stay alive through both Jedi and Fencer aggression. Now, Fencer thrives in this sort of environment. You know, binding strike, their bleeds, their blind, everything, everything they have in their kit is just perfect for a small skirmish scenario like this. So, yeah, I'm interested to see what goes on. Um, these commandos definitely, if they get lucky, they could definitely blow somebody up with a well-timed uh, synchronized grenade. So uh, maybe they stack their dots with the commando, uh, commando flamer, uh, like stack burn down up to ten stacks, to keep it up. Maybe see them like some CM.
time to pop his burst run. I don't know. He's a bit he's a bit of a bad spot. He's rooted again. He did land a stopping shot though. Not gonna I don't know how good that's gonna be on a Jai here. He might be able to get out. Yeah, one more second. Four stasis, three more seconds, and then Koex, or I'm sorry, Keck is gonna be back in this fight. Koex is gonna need to survive this though. Let's look at his fill. He's our oh my goodness, he already spent so much food already, he's almost full. He's in a rough spot. Keck's getting a heal off before getting rooted again, is that what that is? Yep. Short root though, because it's on DR. Kovac down. Big melee oppression right here. Although he's doing a good job of surviving, you know, his fill is like really filled up, but he's doing a good job. Getting hit pretty good though. Let's look at some of these guys. Uh, Monkey D. Luffy, he's out of action, but he's in a good spot. Kartaka looks very healthy. The big thing this is going to come down to, honestly, is if Kovac and Kex can survive longer than Kardaka's force. If they can out sustain his force bar, then they have a chance at winning this game. And I think. Double Commando has a good shot of uh, out sustaining uh, a Jedi like that. In my many duels um, of Commando versus Jedi, the only time they've ever won is because I've been able to survive them uh, through their damage long enough to bring their force. But Kovac knocked down in a bad spot. Kex trying to get some damage out. They're not really. They've got a few debuffs, two sacks of riddle armor, some dots, some bleeds, but not really much of like aggression coming out of here from the mandos they've just been like on the defensive the whole time kovac ooh, dipping super low there he's getting really low he might drop here okay good heals he's back up he's in a good spot i think he's filled though or full on filled though let's see yeah his drink fill is topped off he probably has enough food for one wafer maybe but he's in a bad spot got clb up though Luffy taking some big damage there. You got like burst it down pretty hard. He's got a lot of debuffs. They are stacking dots on him. That's a good call. It's a very good call. He's at max stacks of riddle, so they could definitely line up some some cheeky bursts if they can keep this debuff up on him. Oh, that's gonna be hard to keep that up through Hun Cob. Kovac dropped. Oh, gum gum death blow. Look at that right there. <laughs> Kovac dropping down, so now Kex is in a 1v2 situation against a Jedi and a Fencer. This is not at all where you want to be. And they're looking a little over for the double commandos here. They did, Kovac did a very good job of surviving this, upper, this uh, sort of burst. Um, I'm actually very surprised he was able to live as long as he could against this comp. But Kex, he's a very good player, a young prodigy. Came out of the scene and started blasting folks out really early, but I don't know if his... Uh, you know his his young reactions are gonna be able to carry him here against these uh this this double melee team here. Kardaka, obviously a very experienced player on a Jedi. Monkey D. Luffy playing melee, getting the DB, the gum dunk, the gum gum death blow. There it is. Quick and easy 2-0 from uh, Monkey D. Luffy and Kardaka. Well played by both of them. Unfortunate to see the double commando team drop. I was looking forward to seeing them play, but they are kind of on the defensive the whole time. So, you know, it's just it's what it is against a team like that. Played match. I'm looking forward to seeing the next one. I think Pistol Smuggler would have been such a great pick in a like a tournament like this, like honestly. Like this sort of thing is perfect for a smuggler. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, they lasted a lot longer than I thought they were going to a team like that. So well played by them, no shame in that uh, that fight at all. Yeah, in a small setting like this where it's like 2v2, smoking is perfect because they're very slippery. 
Um, they've got a lot of CC. They've got a lot of uh, burst damage through their last ditch. And then obviously, uh, advance or improved conch shot can definitely like it can make a two v two into a like a two v one for like a large period of time. And you can just rotate conch shot off between the two targets and be oh, it's just the control is perfect. So um, anyway, enough about smuggler. I'm looking forward to the next match here. I don't know who's playing next, but uh, that last match was definitely an entertaining one. So we'll give it a second here and see who's next. If we are getting our first uh, users bracket match, it might be yeah, Delaru and Kalisa versus my guess is Kex and Kovac. Uh oh, Black Chrysanthemum on the scene right now, Jedi Senator. Look at this absolute unit. Yeah, looks like it's Kex and Koag versus Kalisa and Delru. About what I expected. This will be an interesting match. Double Commando versus Double CH. An MLS fight. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. A very good call. I'm curious to see like the diversity in Jedi builds we have. I'm not too sure what everybody's playing or what the Jedi are playing. Look at all the people that showed up today, guys. This is awesome. I love to see this area. Look at all these people showing out just to watch some good old PvP action. This is what I like. It's good stuff. I actually don't know who I favor in this because, you know, Kex and Kovac obviously have a lot more experience. Um, you know, they've been around for a little while, Kovac especially. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, C -H, double CH with one of them being a Jedi, that seems like an underrated comp. I know they had a pretty rough first game, but I could definitely see them closing out some pretty good, uh, some pretty good kills here against the double commandos. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see who wins this one. I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna put my money on the double CH for this game. I just, I like, you know, my heart tells me from all my experience that the, the experience team of Devil Commando should win, but I, I'm, I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling this double, double CH. You know, like I said, they had a rough first game, but um, I could definitely see them pull out some tricks here. Go, a Mandalorian. There he is, walking in a little late.
All right, off to a good start here. Rooting the pets, one of them getting out. They're taking a lot of damage here. They're stacking up a lot of debuffs on him right now. His pets just kind of sticking on Kovac. Kovac's taking some big damage. He's got flank on right now, so getting crit definitely a lot by these pets. Deadly were already down. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see what happened. Hex with the battlefield heavy weapon right there. This thing does so much damage. It's definitely bugged. It needs to be removed, but no comment. Kalisia on the run right now, taking lots of damage. Using a lot of mind trying to stay alive here. This pet still tearing into Kovac. Yeah, I don't know if this pet has the, the damage to burst him down. Wow, Delaru, he went down so fast there. That was a great job. That's what I'm talking about with Double Commando syncing up their abilities. You can hit some pretty dope timings with Double Commando here. If you're able to like stack up a bunch of debuffs super quick and then like, like land like maybe like a knockdown or like a root or something. Get them down to like maybe 60-70% health and then you can just drop like a double double grenade, double dead bang shot and just fucking blow somebody up. Like that was well played by both of them. But Kalicia, force running away. Definitely not trying to let them have this win for free here. Looks like they're swapping to the pet. Pet's taking some damage, but looking kinda healthy. Kovac, looking a little tricky on mind here. He's losing a lot of mind right now trying to stay alive from this pet. Phil's looking okay. Hex, Phil is in a good spot. Kalisa, no Phil used so far on Kalisa. So, definitely want to see some wafers, maybe some synth steak here. Now that she's rooted. Doing a good job of staying alive, though. This is going to really come down to her forest bar. Like, oh, there's the spur trap coming out from Kex. That also definitely needs to be fixed and addressed. Um, big damage coming out, though. Four stacks of the Riddle Armor on the Jedi. She's doing a good job of just kind of like staying away from them, but like this is a this is a good job of kiting, but I don't know if this pet alone is enough to kill these guys. Uh, Kovac's mind is in a bit of a bad spot though, so maybe she can, you know, drain his mind a bit, force him to like go on the defensive, heal some more, get this mind down. He doesn't have spice popped, I just noticed. So that's a something he definitely needs to get up here soon, but this is going to come down to Kalisa's uh, force bar, honestly, because I don't know if... She has the force to be able to sustain the sort of onslaught and aggression. But if she leaves her pet on back and kind of drains his mind, because again, he does not have any spice. Like, this is definitely winnable. I I think it's a little winnable. I have faith, though. Both commanders trying to get this pet down. This pet's almost dead. Kalisa cannot afford to let this pet die. Yep, pet's dead. This is a very bad spot for Kalisa. Rooted. She needs to reset combat, drop combat. Get away from these commandos. Like, force run, reset, get the pet out. Yep, there you go. Pet's back out. Kovac's mind is regenerating. This is the problem. She needs to get the pet back in the fight. She needs to keep the pet on Kovac. The only chance she has of winning here is, like, by draining his mind. Oh, he has his spice back up, so that's good, but... Oh! That, there it is! Look at that grenade burst right there with the, the battlefield heavy weapon. This is what I'm talking about. Very well played by Kex and Kovac. This is what I'm saying though, like double commando, you just stack, um, yep, <laughs> Kovac has it too. The, uh, battlefield weapon. This is what you do in commando. You go double flamethrower, you play it safe, you play it, uh, play it safe, you play it slow, you chill, you stack debuffs, whittle them down, and then when you got them in just the right spot, Land a root or something, and then you go double nade, big, like double dead bang, boom, you can just absolutely just blow somebody up like that. So, well played by the uh, double commander team there. I definitely had a little more faith in the double CHs than I uh, should have, but I thought I would, they could pull out some cool tricks there. But again, well played to the double commander team. Very well played. Well played by uh, everybody in that match. Kalicia, well played. It was very cool to see Jedi CH. I've never, I've never seen that before. I actually thought it was cool to see that build. And then Delarue, obviously, uh, well played by him as well. It was a great fight for everybody involved. Thirty-two viewers in the stream right now. Good stuff, guys. I want to see some pogs in the chat right now. Let me get some poggers, some pog champs, dude, for that match, man. Thank you. 
Everybody, I want, I want people to get. All right, so it looks like we have Gertrude and Mechchez. No shot, dude. This is a, our first double Jedi team here. I believe they're playing together. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they're playing together. No way, are we about to see Black Chrysanthemum team up with Kaishin Call? Is this a cursed forbidden team up right here? Kaishin level 72. 73, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on here. Booyah is looking fully buffed up, ready to go down. He's got, what is this, high yield? Jesus. This could actually be a bloodbath. If if this goes exactly the way I think it could. It is. It's Black Ascenton and Kaishin versus Gertrude Mechchez. Oh my goodness. I don't know who I have here. So it looks like Kaishin's just trying to SL bot Booyah. Or, I'm sorry, Black Ascenton. No, I'm just going to call him Booyah. But... Mechchez, that is uh, Cable. And then Gertrude's obviously Rollis. They're uh, two players that have been playing the game for a long time. But Booyah is obviously a menace. Uh, that is the Force Sensitive Senator. Kaishin playing, looks like squad leader doctor or something. Gertrude getting knocked down, big hit here. Black Chrysanthemum going in with a cool ass lava crystal. That lightsaber looks sick if you ask me. Gertrude trying to create some distance. Never mind, he's rooted. Booyah back on top of him. Gertrude on the defensive. Mechchez, I think he's playing like powers here. Yeah, yeah, it looks like powers. These guys are focusing the wrong target by attacking Booyah. They really need to be attacking Kaishin right now. Kaishin is rooted, but not Mez, right? Am I tripping? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Force Suppression, okay. So, this is definitely winnable for the Jedi SL team, but the double Jedi... Okay, Gertrude popping Force Run, getting out of there, getting out of that situation, just trying to reset here. We are swapping to Mechchez. Mech on the defensive. Kaishin knocked down. No pressure on Kaishin, though. Mech on the defensive. Black Santin going ham here. Again, look at all these buffs. He has a steady aim, high yield, everything, like... Ain't target on Mechchez as well from Kaishin. Kaishin is doing a good job of supporting Black Santin here. He's doing a very good job. He's just keeping up the heals, keeping up the SL buffs, keeping up the SLB buffs. And Gertrude and Mech just trying to keep each other alive right now. Not much damage coming out here. It's, it looks pretty even. Looks like they're swapping to Kaishin. Kaishin getting hit very hard here. I think they've realized how squishy Kaishin can be because he's getting blasted right now. But yeah, it's rooted. Or Black Chrysanthemum, I'm sorry. Whatever, I'm calling it Booyah. Kaishin getting hit some. I don't know what's really going on here. They're kind of just like chilling, like supporting each other, waiting for it. They really should have taken advantage of that root that was on Booyah. They really should have pushed onto Kaishin, but I, I guess they just didn't want to get close to Black Chrysanthemum. I don't I don't really know. Um it's like big big damage from mech on Kaishin, maybe? No, Mech is actually getting hit by big damage right now. Black Santin going ham. Gertrude kind of just playing very defensive, very passive. Not really sure what his plan here is. I'm not familiar, uh, not familiar with their build, so apologies if uh, their game plan is a bit more obvious than I'm making it out to be. But uh, Kaishin taking a lot of damage. He's low on mine though. He's only half mine. Okay, he's regening a lot though, but he's getting hit very hard. Pop shard of retaliation. Okay. Mech to getting hit hard here. I wish I could see their force bars. I really wish I could see their force bars, but I guess if I could, then it wouldn't be as interesting. But paint target. Oh, Mech getting hit super. He got super low right there, dude. That was that was a good lineup of it. I think he did like paint target and then a call shot right after. And uh, Black Cassandra was able to land some big, 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 uh, big, big, big damage there. Gertrude now on the defensive. 
This is something that I want to talk about with this game. Black Chrysanthemum and Kaishin have been really dictating the pace and the tone of this match, which is not what I expected. I would have expected the Double Jedi team to kind of like set the tempo of this fight, but it's really just been uh, Black Chrysanthemum and Kaishin, which is uh, definitely surprising. This uh, Jedi SL team looks like it's definitely working out. I'm not surprised, but it's you know it's good to see. Good to see some non-Jedi in here. All right, damage going down on Mech. Mech's mind is a looking a bit low there. Black Chrysanthemum going ham. Gertrude not really applying that much pressure. They really need to be going all in on Kaishin here. But Mech on the defensive, knocked down, about half health. Big hit right there. Okay, so I get a full heal from that. But his force bar has to not be looking so good. But yeah, Booyah's not powers. I believe Booyah is MLS. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Mech has powers. And then Gertrude, I'm not really sure what Gertrude is. I think Gertrude is also powers. Um, I think this is like a double powers team right here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Kaishin just throwing up some debuffs. So he is... Okay, so you see him. He's like CM Doc SL or something. Okay. Not a bad build at all, honestly. I mean, probably very ideal for this sort of situation. Yeah, honestly, I just disagree with them attacking Black Descent in this whole thing. They really need to be going on Kaishin. Okay, looks like they're swapping Kaishin here. At least Mech was for a second there. Gertrude still just trying to support Mech, keep him alive. Rooted. Mech, big damage on Mech. I right, sealed up. Yeah, dude, all this defensive play that they've had to play this entire game, like, I, I can't imagine their force bars are looking good here. Yeah, Mech is powers. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, force heal. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see that being an issue. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, just like their force management. Because it looks like they're blowing their spells, like, big time. And, like, the thing about... The thing that I do know, you know, I'm not a very good uh, Jedi player, but the thing that I do know is that um, powers is very force intensive. So I definitely know that these guys are blasting through their force power here. And I know Booyah is just big chilling on his force right now, just meleeing and getting supported by Kaishin. These big heal, like these dock heals right here, like back then fusion, the CM dots, SL buffs, like this is just a perfect comp for something like Booyah just to like funnel him like buffs and whatnot. So Kaishin getting hit hard here. Big damage on Kaishin. They're swapping to Kaishin, he pops it. What is that, a wafer? Yep, wafer. Wafer coming out. Not much food pop by him though, so he has definitely a lot of wiggle room to stay alive. It's honestly a pretty good match so far. This has been a very like I like I said before, I'm not like the biggest Jedi fan, but this has actually been very entertaining to watch, so. Beck and Booyah just squaring down. Gertrude still just supporting Mech. Kaishin getting hit. Not from too much though. So we saw a few times where Booyah was able to land some big burst windows on Mech, and I want to see that again, because every time that's happened, it's been so close to the match just being over right there. So I'm not really sure what's going on there so we'll see we'll see I, I imagine their force bars are almost running out here this has been going on for a long time uh, again in the rules it says that if the match goes on for 15 minutes or more everybody clicks off their buffs and they do a no buff fight like a death match so uh jedi with no buffs definitely sounds uh very wild so i think they're gonna want to try and close this out here soon mech getting hit pretty hard gertrude still just supporting him keeping him up No meditate bust from them? Okay, interesting. Mech. He's got uh, CM, uh, CM dots on him right now. And he's get, get, uh, getting hit pretty hard by Booyah. Oh, big damage right there from Booyah. Yeah, these big, like, these big Jedi heals have to be, like, draining their force. Oh, I'm surprised they've been going on this long, though, if I'll be honest. Good old Jedi throw down right here. I like that lightsaber pistol he's got though, that's awesome. They're rooted right there. The mech, okay, it's gonna break. Swapping to Kaishin. Kaishin almost dead! I can't believe I did not see that. Yeah, Kaishin almost died there. It's a very bad situation, but he's doing okay now. This is a uh, fill at. Not much fill, he probably. Oh my gosh, I just realized he's incap sickness. So he got incap there, but he immediately got up. Wow, that, that could have been very bad for Booyah. Yeah, Kaishin just needs to survive a little bit longer. Yeah, Gertrude popping force around, trying to get away. Okay, Gertrude's doing good at keeping his distance from Booyah. Um, obviously, at the beginning, Booyah was going in uh, super hard on Gertrude, but 
since then, um, Rawls has done a good job of like maintaining distance. We are rooted here. I definitely think. Oh, they're going big on Kaishin here. Kaishin's in a bad spot, a very bad spot here. He might drop. They're going full offense on Kaishin. This is just what they need right here. If Kaishin survives, so that's very bad. It's low on mind. No Ruby Blue. I'm surprised he's not popping any foods. Like, I saw him pop one or two wafers, and that was it. He still survived. And now he's going back on the offensive. Mech Chez almost dying there. Kaishin's low in mind, but he's looking healthy besides that. Gertrude on the defensive. Pop the Sense Stake. Food Bill's not looking good for Gertrude right now. Dizzy. Called shot. Big damage coming out. No, not quite. What's going on with Mech? Is he, like, rooted, I think? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, he is rooted. Okay. But yeah, rooted as well. A lot of roots coming out here. Kaishin's mind slowly making it way back. Making its way back. Mech's mind is about half. I'm surprised they didn't run out of force yet. I'm, like, actually very surprised. Kaishin knocked Mech, taking big damage. Yo, where's the dampening in this match, dude? Like, Jesus. I need some dampening in here. I'm just kidding. Dampening is lame. Uh, Mech taking a lot of damage there, though. I can definitely tell that they're kind of struggling just to keep the heals up here. Big hit. Nope. Full heal. Yeah, this is a pretty sick fight. Mech is up force. Yeah, that's what I figured right now. Like, I can definitely tell, like, he's on the ropes. Oh, big damage. Oh, big hit. Barely stayed alive there. That was super close. Kaishin getting hit really hard. Okay, he's going to be able to stay alive. He's His mind's getting dangerously low, though. Mech Chez getting hit. Nope. Gertrude keeping him up. Five more minutes until sudden death. If Mech and Gertrude can just stay alive until the five minute uh, sudden death, maybe they have a chance at this. Kaishin just kiting them around the pillar. Very good pillar humping right here. This is very good. Dude. Mech knocked down. Big damage coming out. Maybe get a called shot, paint target. Nope. Just standing there. Okay, yeah, he's, he's out. He's trying to create some space. Booyah is rooted. Not for long, though. It's heavily on DR. Yeah, the mech is definitely definitely out of, out of force here. He's just trying to, like, create space. Get some regen. I, so, I'm not familiar with what Gertrude's build is, but I feel like at this point you want to be peeling more, maybe going more on the offensive, because right now it's just, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, all you can really do keep mech alive. Mech's kind of tapped out. Kaishin, oh yeah, his mind is almost all the way back now, so it's going to take him a bit to get him down. Mech taking big damage. He's LOSing Gertrude here. Okay, no. He got that heal off. I was about to say. This is a sick fight, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty sick fight. Mech running here. Maybe a little paint target. So the timer on. Oh, big! Oh, dude, he almost died there. That was crazy. Two minutes. Okay, two minutes on Spice. Kaishin running a bit far. I don't know if that's where you want to be. Okay, no, he's doing fine. He's just keeping his distance, up in the pillar, trying to stay away. Yeah, Booyah has been peeling very well for Kaishin. I thought that, honestly, Kaishin would have died by now because, it, like, He's not really popping many foods. He's looking a bit squishy. Like his gun, like look at him. He's using like an E, like an E11 or whatever. Yeah, like he's, his gun's not that good, but he's doing his job. He's playing his role properly. He's keeping Booyah up, keeping the, the debuffs and the dots up, keeping the SL buffs up. I mean, high yield on Booyah, like his act, that's so huge. Like he's, he's playing his role very well. And he's staying alive, surprisingly enough. So not enough aggression from Gertrude though. Although, like I said before, he's probably at this point having to dump it all into keeping Mech alive, but mech. Uh, it's not really healing. Yeah, he's definitely on low on force. He's definitely relying on Gertrude. I feel like Gertrude is out of force here. Has to be, maybe? I can't even see. Like, Gertrude's, like, in the in the wall here. Like, what's going on? Okay, they swapped the Gertrude. I think Gertrude's out of force at this point. Mech is just regening. Like, what's what's he doing? He's just standing there. Has to be. Oh, I think he's rebuffing. Yeah, yeah. Looks like he's rebuffing or something. Gertrude popping force on creating space. This is good. He needs to get out of there. Although Booyah's gonna swap back to Mech here. Rune on Kaishin. Mech might have gotten some force. 
regen off there. Oh, he spent a lot of mine trying to get this bus back up, though. Oh, Mecha's bubble. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I completely forgot about that. Oh, Booyah getting hit very hard there. Sorry, guys. I'm a Jedi noob. I'm just a normie, so... But yeah, it's actually taking a lot of damage now. Mech and uh, Gertrude have actually stayed in this a lot longer than I thought they would. Being like a devil's a devil powers group. Or a devil like force heavy comp. Mech getting getting hit very hard here though. They don't have much longer until sudden death, honestly. Oh my gosh, Mech almost dying there. Yep, good heal. Not really much to say here, just an epic light to oh, Booyah, knocked down. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage here. He's out of action. Low on mine, taking a lot of damage here, actually. I was gonna say, Kaisha needs to try and help him up. Yep, okay. He's low on mine, though, so he can't really close the kill here is the problem. He's mind starved. He needs to get his spice back if his spice fell off. Right as I say that, he's on top of it. No, Kaishin's on the run. He popped Burst Run, trying to get away, create some space, but he's getting hit pretty hard here. Now Kaisen's all offensive. Let's see what his uh his food and uh food and drink. No, nothing. Wow. Mech getting hit hard here. Not again, every time Mech gets hit hard, Gertrude's just able to top him off. We just got his energy back, so um or his action, sorry, so you can definitely maybe try to close a kill here. Force bubble again, I believe. Yeah, everybody's just kind of chilling for a second here. I don't know what's going on. And a little force here. Just resetting? Is that what's going on here? Fight's not over, right? Yeah, we still got a few more minutes, I believe. Oh, there it is. Remove all buffs. Keep docking it buffs. Oh my goodness. They gotta click everything off except for dock and end buffs, and then what, like Jedi buffs maybe? They keep Jedi buffs. I don't know if Jedi buffs are a part of that rule or not. I'm actually curious if they're ruling on. I assume they can keep Jedi buffs. Yeah, I think Mech and Gertrude might have might actually have be able to close this out because they were able to survive so long. I don't know if Booyah and Kaishin can win the uh, no buff sudden death. So it's just kicking off or clicking off food buffs, right? That's really all it is because I see SL buffs. But right, SL buffs, that's a great question. Okay, I'm gonna assume yes. That's all okay. Okay, so it's basically just food buffs. No consumes. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so pro profession abilities only. Profession buffs only. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Kaishin's going to be a lot squishier now. That is a very good point. This has been a very intense game, honestly, guys. Super intense match. This is an epic gamer moment, indeed. How long does Sun Death go for? Oh, shit. They're going in. Kaishin getting blasted right off the bat there. Thought I got Force Choke on him. Doing a good job of humping that pillar, staying away. We are immediately going into mech here. Mech getting blasted. Big aggression coming out from Booyah. Not a lot of mine left on mech here though. Holy moly. Gertrude's trying to keep him up. Just big aggression. Wow, he almost dropped like three times there. Yeah, he's gonna create some space. Booyah rooted. Throwing his lightsaber. Kaishin just kind of playing in the back. Guys, how long do you think Sud Destin's going to go on for? Let's hear some uh, here's some numbers in the chat. 
He made some predictions on how long you guys think the sudden death is going to go on for. Staying on top of Mech, though. Gertrude just playing defensively. Mech just needs to stay alive, honestly. Kaishin getting hit pretty hard. Ooh, almost dropping there. Big damage on Mech here. Mech, oh my gosh, you saw how low he was, dude. Holy shit. That was almost a close one there. Still taking a lot of damage, though. Just the Booyah's damage is insane. High yield. Oh my gosh, like... Three minutes? Okay, okay. To your, your prediction. It's a very even match here, guys. I, I've actually really enjoyed watching this. I don't know about you guys, but I've enjoyed watching this fight here. Mech taking a lot of damage. Five minutes, 57 seconds. Okay, okay. <laughs> No coaching from the stands, please. No coaching from the stands. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Yeah, they just aren't dying. Yeah, that's wild. Oh, double team Kaishin here. Maybe? Gertrude going on the offense? Oh no, back to healing mech. This is what happens when you have like a double healer, or like two, like both teams playing like one carry, one support. So you have like these long games like this mech dropping low here, maybe? Yes, no? I think this is going to go until they're out of force again. That's my prediction. It's such a long fight. Chez, both Mech and Gertrude having force run, looking to reset here? Like, what's going on? They're just creating some space right now. I think they're just trying to rebuff. But yeah, running all the way over there. Kaishin getting hit pretty hard. Like usual, but nothing really happening. Mech getting topped off. Alright, lots of forced debuffs on Kaishin right now. Will you appealing for Kaishin? He's doing a good job. He's been doing a good job at the entire time of keeping Kaishin alive, which is like peeling for him. Even if he's not really healing Kaishin, just like keeping the pressure on him rather than on Kaishin, he's doing a good job of that for this entire fight. You love to see some good teamwork like that. You know, I, I did not expect Kaishin and Buya to be a team, nor did I expect them to be playing this well, but they're doing a great job so far. Like, that was a very unexpected surprise. It looks like they almost, like, talked this out. Oh gosh, they've got one minute till they lose every single buff. So, Booyah and uh, Kaisha need to make something happen here because I definitely think in a no buff versus no buff, I think Mech and uh, Gertrude have it. Because it defeats the purpose of the SL, so. This is getting very close. This is a situation where I think a smuggler would have been perfect because you could have just. Um, like a smuggler SL, I don't know, like something like that might have been pretty cool. And you don't really have any heals with that, unfortunately, so I don't know. Just being able to, oh, both of them going in on Kaishin here. Kaishin out of mind, half health. Very bad spot for Kaishin here. He needs to pop some, some stems, maybe some food. Mech taking a lot of damage, though. But you need to go hard on Mech right now so he can... Uh, force Gertrude to get off of Kaishin and swap back down. There it is, Mech! He's down! Oh my gosh, he didn't get the DV. That was so close. Oh my goodness. 
It was a little close in getting the DB there, and he's able to get mech up real quick. That was super close. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, as soon as Gertrude swapped to Kaishin, Buya just went in on mech to force Gertrude to come back and start popping mech. Yeah, 33 viewers. Yeah, man, this is the most I've seen on this CBG. This is great. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the fights. Uh, I'm sorry if the quality of the stream is a little suboptimal. I, again, I was saying earlier, I don't know what's going on with my OBS. It's being a bit weird today, a bit choppy, but I'm um, going to make the most of it. It's a very, very good fight so far. We're in, like, sudden death right now between um, Buya and Kaishin versus uh, Mechchez and Gertrude. So we're about to enter double uh, double overtime here soon if uh, if this fight doesn't end soon. But Kaishin, I'm about to drop. Oh, both Jedi popping force. I'm going in on him. Oh my gosh, he barely made it. Wait, he died? I don't know if... Okay, JK. <laughs> JK, okay. Well, this is bad. Kaisen just fell up there. <laughs> Resetting the sudden death time. So now Buya has to fight this by himself. Which is not exactly... We can see if Buya can uh, pull off the 1v2 here. I don't know if he has it in him. I, I, I know, though, that if anybody on this server can pull off a 1v2... One of the people would be definitely Buya, so he's a very experienced Jedi. And a very experienced uh, melee player, so see what he can do here. Ideally, if I'm Mech and Gertrude, I want to just chill, control the fight, keep Buya contained and off of Gertrude, and keep him on Mech, keeping him away so that Gertrude can pump all of uh, his like force abilities into Mech. However, Buya still does have high yield on, so this is big for five more minutes. So his damage is still pretty insane. He's just gonna lack some of that like backup utility of like paint target and some additional heals and things like that. Yeah, I think the the views are also for the art trooper armor. Hopefully this gets it uh gets it in the game. But enough about that. We're on this mech getting super low here. Gotta get healed up. But it looks like he's in a decent spot. What's his fill at? No fill used at all. Wow. No fill from him either. From Gertrude. A little bit of food used from Gertrude, but aside from that, it's just a very low fill game. Mech, force running out of there. Just trying to create some space. Him and Gertrude. Oh yeah, popping force run as well. I didn't even realize he had it. Yeah, Kaishin is a beast. Yeah, Kaishin. Oh, Black Crusade about to drop here, unless he can stay alive. This is definitely where you want to pop some food, some stems, some bleal. Oh, no, there it is. Black Crusade going down. Good fight. Very, very, very good fight. Well played by Gertrude and Beck right there. That was super intense. Just the an entire, like, there's almost like a 20 minute match of just non stop intensity, so. Well played to both teams. Very, very well played. Kaishin and Black Santin, like I said before, I did not expect that team at all. Very, very, very unexpected team, but they played quite well. Somebody's getting bounty hunted over here. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, well played to them, and then obviously well played to Gertrude and um, Mechchez. Um, that was very well played by No foods. Oh, yeah, you're right. No foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tripping. You're right. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. Well played for everyone. Uh-oh. Wraith. We got a little Revenant cameo here. I'm curious to see who's playing next, honestly. Are we gonna see- oh, is, Re is Rev playing next? Oh, shit. Commando. And Aranok Ishin. I don't- I'm not familiar with this name. I feel like I should know them. Is this a Jedi? Yeah, let's get Jedi. A Wofe, okay. Mandrala. So this is a Jedi. I think a Wofe is CM. I think like CM rifles, maybe. 
No, he's got recon armor. I don't know what he is right now, actually. A little Nexus Civil War here. I guess Wraith isn't right in the Nexus tag right now, so. Yeah, let's see, we got a Jedi. One Jedi on either team. Yeah, yeah, and then a Commando here. Yeah, Rip Booyah, man. Such a fight, man. They played so well. So this, I'm looking, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this match. I don't know either of these Jedi, uh, Man, Mandralistic, or... Man, yeah, Mandralisic and Arnok. I don't, I'm not familiar with either of them. Uh, Wraith and Awofe, I am very familiar with. These are both of my uh, comrades in arms. I've PvP'd these guys many, 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 many times. Awofe, I probably played, I probably, he's one of the first people I PvP'd with on the server. He's a very good player. And then Wraith, uh, I, I, I showed him a lot of PvP tricks back in the day. I kind of taught him a lot of what he knows. So um, I'm very excited to see this match here between uh, two old friends of mine. So Commando Jedi versus Rifleman Jedi. Uh, he's got the last launcher out already. Okay, good stuff. Um, I don't know what he's level seventy four. So my guess is he's maybe Commando with some sort of like Hone COB build, maybe, um, maybe a stabilizers that might be. Actually, he probably does have stabilizers. So we'll see here. I'm not again. I'm not familiar with what a Wolfe is playing. I know he's a Rifleman of some sort, but I'm interested in seeing. All right, the fight has started. See how this starts off here. Arnok going right onto Wolfe here. Conk shot on Mandralic. Or Dralic. Yeah, that's a good conk shot there. So I guess Rev is some sort of smuggler Mando. Wolfe already about to drop right here. He's taking a lot of damage. Blinded. He's got all these debuffs. Yeah, so he's like some sort of smuggler Mando build right now. Very cool. Oh, he's got overwhelming shot. Heal cut on a Wolfe. Getting hit hard. Mandralic is out though. He's back and free. Disarmed though, so he's si conk shot into a silence. Wolfe dropping already. Wow, that was a fast game. That was very fast. Good stuff by Arnok and Wraith. Good, uh, good CC by Wraith there. That was very good. Conk shot into disarm. That was very well played. Just keeping Mandrasek out of the fight for a long time. Um, guys are already about to drop right here. Oh, he's low. He's not going to heal. Any healing here? No healing. They're just... What's going on? Oh, they're trying to CC. <laughs> it's communicating in, in spatial. There you go. No, they... Oh, yeah. Grenade right there. Not quite going to land the kill. Proton grenade. Interesting. Very interesting choice. Oh, there it is. He's down, and that is GG. Arnok and Wraith win that one. Well played by both of them. That was very good CC by Wraith there. Conch on the disarm, like I already said, that was very well played. That is why Smuggler is good in these sort of fights. You can just lock somebody out of the fight for so long and give give them a lot of room to pressure a wolf, eh? Very well, very well played. I have a lot of experience playing that build, Commando Smuggler with Pistolier. That's kind of my my bread and butter, so it's good to see that build working out uh, working out pretty well in this fight. So, good stuff. Good stuff by both uh, both teams. Curious to see who's next here. <laughs> I, I like this guy's bio. Look at this guy's bio. That's what's up. Much respect for a bio like that. Alright, I don't know what we're gonna see next, but. Looks like Kex and Kovac, maybe? 
Looks like next we've got Kex and Kovac versus Kaishin and Black Lantern. This will be another interesting match. We see Double Commando back out here again. Um, right now they're one and one. They lost their winners bracket match, but they are um, they've won their first match in the losers bracket. Um, so they're in a good spot. Um, and then we have Kaishin and Black Chrysanthemum, or Booyah. So we've got Jedi SL versus Double Commando. This is going to be a good fight, I think. Um, I think my money is on Black Chrysanthemum and Kaishin because a Master Lightsaber Jedi being pocketed by a squad leader sounds just absolutely insane. However, again, Kex and Kovac, we saw earlier with their burst window thing that they were setting up, you know, Flamer spam debuffs into setting up a burst window with the battlefield weapon and grenades like they could definitely like just kill like kaishin in the blink of an eye if they're like on top of it and if i were them that is what i would be trying to do here so good luck to both players uh, or both teams of players that it'd be it'd be good to see here I'm interested to see who comes out on top of this. Yep. He's telling Kaishin he's gonna die. Yeah, I feel like the first thing they're gonna do is just open up on Kaishin here. So, uh, Black is gonna have to do a good job of keeping Kaishin alive here. Peeling for him very well. You know, just that sort of thing. Like he was doing in that match with uh, Gertrude and Mech Cheese. Who is Arnok? I have no clue, honestly. I have no clue who Arnok is, but they played very well. All right, here we go in the next game. Right off the bat, Booyah, rooting Kovac. Gonna go all right onto him, open up. Hex trying to blow damage on Kovac, on uh, Kaishin. Kovac just trying to stay alive here, it looks like. Stacking debuffs on Kaishin already by the looks of it. Kovac taking a lot of damage. No, he's, he's doing okay, he's hanging in there. Kex just staying on type of Kaishin, giving him no room to breathe here. This is what he needs to do. Kovac needs to do the same. Kovac's doing a good job of staying alive. He's already half filled, though. Popped a lot of foods already just to get out of that burst window. But they need to be stacking brittle right here. Good nade. Oh, that already did like half his health. Holy shit. Yeah, so the plan here for both these commandos needs to be get five stacks of riddle, lock him down, then set up a. Oh, yeah, this is already dead. Holy shit, he like dropped like 100 to zero. That's crazy. Oh, this Kovac is already about to drop there. Wow, that was um, that was over a lot quicker than I expected it to be. Well played by Dr. Santon and Kaishin. Kaishin did a good job of staying alive there. Hex and Kovac just needed a little more time to set up their burst, uh, their burst setup, uh, unfortunately. But wow, they, they they wow they dropped super fast there. Well played by uh, Santon and Kaishin. They will move on while Kex and Kovac are out of the tournament, unfortunately. The double commander team is out. Well played to both of them. I'm curious to see who comes next, honestly. Um, but in the meantime, I will be eating a cup of water real quick. All right, let's see who we have next here. Ooh, Kardaka and Monkey D. Luffy. Are they fighting Gertrude and Mechchez? That would be a good fight right there. I would like to see that match, actually.
versus K and Gush. Okay, so this is a double. Uh, this is kind of a mirror match, almost like Jedi Melee versus Jedi Melee. Although the difference is one is a fencer and one is a Terrace Kasi master. Um, I want to put my money on the TKM. However, like I said before, fencer thrives in these sort of two v two scenarios. So I'm really curious to see who wins this one. Yeah, Monkey is still melee. How many teams are left? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure. That's cool. Um, not 100% sure, but uh, it's a good bit of teams left. I think winner's bracket is still Kardaka, Monkey, K, and Gush, and then Gertrude and Mechchez are in the winner's bracket. I don't know who else is in winners, but um, yeah, I think that's the three teams in winners right now. Is this a Breacher versus Breacher? Oh god. It'll be an interesting match, that's for sure. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. It's been some very entertaining matches, in my opinion. I hope you guys are enjoying them as well. We've got a few more to go, so uh, I am excited to see what we have. Alright, here we go. Jedi in melee versus Jedi in melee. Let's see how it goes here. We go. This is a straight up brawl. I believe both these Jedi are um, lightsabers. So this is going to be like, like I said, looks like a four man melee brawl here. So it looks like K is, okay, he's rooted right now. Uh, Kardaka knocked. Monkey D. Luffy staying up top of Gush. Gush popping a sense already. Monkey taking a lot of damage. Looks like the target is Monkey right here. Big grenade damage. Monkey getting hit super hard here. Staying alive though. He just needs to stay alive. He's popped Sensei. Good stuff, good stuff. This is definitely survivable here. The monkey makes it out of there okay. Um, popped some food. Lost some mind, but he looks pretty healthy for the most part. It looks like he's on top of Gush right now. Kardaka supporting monkey here by the looks of it. And he's staying on top of Gush. Yeah, so it looks like Gush is the, the call from Kardaka and monkey, and then monkey is the call from K and Gush by the looks of it. Monkey, again, getting bursted super hard here, almost dropping right there. The CM dots plus the damage from Gush is a lot to deal with right now. Rooting in place. CoB up. Sense stake. Oh, it's ex ex broke anyway, because I'm tired. Uh, he's doing a good job of staying alive, though. He's just kind of running around, just trying to create some space. But uh, these CMD buffs are adding up. Like, this traumatized right here, like, look at his mind bar. Just from trying to stay alive. It's getting eaten up. Monkey again is getting focused super hard and his mind is slowly trickling down. Ooh, very bad spot right here. Oh, he got incapped. Oh, but he got right back up. Wow, that could have been really bad for him and Kardaka. I don't know what Kardaka is doing here. I, th I guess I misunderstood. I thought Kardaka was a lightsaber or master lightsaber Jedi. So wrong, but he looks like he's just trying to support Luffy here, just keep him alive. Um, 
Luffy, honestly, at this point, is just trying to make it out of this, you know, Scrabble, like, right here, just alive. Like, he's just getting pounded like crazy <clears throat> by Gush and K, but... Gush and K doing a good job of keeping up the offense, especially K. Um, however, Monkey is able to create some space there. Gush rooted. Oh, sorry, Gush Mez right now. Or Stasis, yep, so... Gush is sitting in Mez. This is an opportunity for Kardaka and Monkey to turn the tables here by going on to K. K though, not gonna get- okay, he's rooted. Gets rooted here. Gush is out of his mez right now. Honestly, if Kardok has Breach, wouldn't the call just be like, Mez K and then Breach Gush and then go on Gush? I don't know, that's, that's what I would think, but... I don't know, maybe they did something I don't. Again, I'm a Jedi noob, so... Kardok is kinda of staying alive. Monkey Doof, he's already always out of mind. Like, these CM dots are just adding up right here. This is brutal from K. Oh man, you just hate to see it. But he's doing a good job of controlling uh, his mana bar, just kind of like setting the tempo of uh, of the match really well with these CMD buffs. Monkey's down, no mind, rooted, low on health. Grenade burst, not gonna kill him here, not gonna close it out. Just. Honestly, just trying to stay alive here. Kardaka trying to put some pressure on Gush, maybe force K to peel off, but Monkey's just in such a bad spot. This is a uh, food for that. Okay, no drink. He could be popping Bleals right now. This is a perfect opportunity to be popping Ruby Bleal, honestly, when your mind is like this, but I guess he doesn't feel like he needs it. I mean, he's staying alive even with no mind somehow. Oh, he dropped DB. Yep, yeah, he's dead. Looks like Kardaka's going to have to 1v2 here. That's not the situation I want to be in. I guess I misunderstood what um what Bill Cardaco was, but it looks like Monkey was kind of the like the carry in this this group, which um I don't know Jedi melee. I mean I guess I could see it for some like something like K and Gush. K and Gush's comp is it seems very good for like controlling. They they seem like they have a very good comp to just like keep Gush at a distance, put up his force abilities while K just kind of like waylays on him with CM dots and whatnot. But we do have a Mez here on K it's force stasis. So, Kardaka is going to put some pressure on Gush, maybe. Gush half mind. Kardaka, he looks pretty healthy. He's got a lot of debuffs, but for the most part, he looks healthy. I don't know what his force is looking like, but. Gush, I don't, almost out of mind here. I guess he just had to rebuff. Okay, still stays this for 10 seconds. So, this is Kardaka's window to make something happen. Yeah, he just killed that monkey guy, uh, Snaily, if you were wondering. But, alright, okay, Jeremy's out of the mez right now, back on Kardaka, immediately putting up some CM debuffs. Kardaka can only breach confirmed? Ah, that's a great question, I don't know, I didn't see much uh, force breach this game though. Kardaka going down from that grenade burst, and it is out. Good fight by both players here. K and Gush, moving on. I think that might mean it's Gush and K versus Gertrude and Mech, which... I'm actually, I don't know about you guys, but I'm hyped to see that. That sounds like a good match. So, K-Droma and Gush will be moving on, though. So, Kardaka and Monkey are dropping down to the loser's bracket. Oh, of course, Rena. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the stream. I hope it's not too uh, fuzzy and you guys can see what's going on. And I hope you guys are enjoying the vibes. I'm trying my best to keep these matches engaging. I, I think these matches are really good. Um, I, for me personally, I don't see a lot of Jedi because I like I, I don't I haven't been PvPing too much since Jedi came out. But I'm, I'm really enjoying seeing some of the like the Jedi fights that we're we're getting here. So this is really cool uh, for me at least. Crooks or in the chat, big crooks. Alright, I want to see who's next. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing who's next here. By the way, guys, I'm going to put this... I'm not going to split up the fights. I, I might go back and edit it and split up the fights, but I think I might just put this whole VOD on YouTube. Um, if you guys want to go back and rewatch it, and I'll, then I'll timestamp the fights for everybody that wants to watch. Looks like we have three more fights left in the tournament. Three more, so we're down to the, uh, the final couple matches here. 
Okay, looks like we got Wraith and Aranok. Aranok, I'm not too sure who this is, but they definitely look like they know who they're doing, or what they're doing. Wraith and Aranok versus Mech and Gertrude. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this looks like it's this the like, uh, winner semifinals match, I think. I, I don't have access to the bracket, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Sally only shows the dude only shows up to for the uh the fortitude tokens, bro. Sorry if you guys can hear my tails going off. My bad. I should have uh I, I don't know how you can mute those, but I wish I I wish I knew. Jedi nearly dies too quick. Too busy running in first. Is that true, dude? Is this blasphemy or is this true? So what, what, everybody in the chat, let's hear. I want to hear everybody in the chat tell me your prediction for this match. Is your money on Arnok and uh, Wraith or Gertrude and Mech? Let's hear it. What does everybody think? I don't know if you guys like the music or not, but if you do, I'll post a playlist link in the description. Um, I have a bunch of Star Wars Galaxy themed playlists um, for PvP, so this is just one of many that I have here. Um, let's see, what, what do we think? Double Jedi, you think Double Jedi is winning? Yeah, Gert and Mech, okay. Looks like we got a lot of Gert and Mech here. Yeah, two Jedi, yeah. I, I definitely think Gertrude and Mech have the advantage here, but I'm curious to see what Wraith and Arnok can do, because again, um, Smuggler Commando is not a sleeper build at all, so that's definitely, uh, if any Commando build can do it in 1v1, that is one of the ones to go with, so. Opening up here, looks like Gertrude's probably going to want to end up supporting Mech, but they're opening up on Gertrude here, uh, Wraith and Arnok. Already getting Riddle Armor right off the bat. Conk on Mech, okay, good stuff. Resisted the grenade, resisted the grenade dot. Proton Grenade again. I don't know why Wraith is going with Proton Grenades. I'm not sure, honestly. Um, Gertrude just gonna force run out, create some space. Honestly, just wait for Mech to break out of uh, Conk. Okay, yep. There's a Conk break on Mech. Mech is on Wraith. Wraith is already dead! He died already! Holy, what even happened? I'm looking at the combat log right now. Just Force Lightning. Yeah, dude, just Force Lightning burst right there. Holy shit right there. Oh my goodness. Well, are not gonna have to one me two here. I don't know if he can do it, but that was a good setup they had at the beginning. You know, conking Mech, going for a grenade on Gertrude. It was unfortunate that uh, he resisted the grenade there, but um, I don't know why he used a proton. I feel like a thermal detonator would have been, would have been better, but I don't know. But Arnok, gonna try to make something happen here. I don't know what he's gonna be able to do. He's already half health. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. Honestly, maybe conking Gertrude and swapping back over to Mech would have been a good call. I, I don't really know. It just he died so fast right there. It was crazy. Surprised he was able to drop that fast. But okay, <clears throat> Arnok. He's best to stay alive right here. I think he's a lightsaber build. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, they're trying to. Put some pressure on Mech, but I, I don't really think he has a chance of killing Mech um, through Gertrude's healing here, so things are looking a bit bleak.
swapping to Gertrude here, maybe trying to put some pressure on her. For those of you that betted on uh, Mech and Gertrude, I think you made a good call here. Hard to go wrong with Double Jedi. Arnox thaw in mind here. I gotta imagine he's low in force as well. He's barely staying alive. His only chance really is just to make sure that his force efficiency is better than Mech and Gertrude, although I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. We saw earlier with uh, Black Ascension versus Mech and Gertrude that um, they're very good at managing their force. They've been able to survive for a very long time, so yeah, I don't know. They don't know. Yeah, they're healing 100% force. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know if, if he gets breached, he has to reapply his, his bus, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't actually. I don't know if Mac or Gucci have breached at all. But oh, force running away. I don't really know what he's trying to do here. Knocked down. I, I, I don't know what the play he is from Arnok, honestly. Just trying to kite stay alive maybe I, I really don't know it's unfortunate unfortunate situation to be in Arnox going down there and that is GG Beck and Gertrude will be advancing they'll make it I think that's the they're in the final the final winners bracket round with the uh, Gush and K. That'll be a super hype match. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's gonna be a super hype match to see. Very well played by both teams though. Unfortunate that Wraith dropped that fast. Um they had a good opener, but just the sustain just wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, there's no like you like uh no good way to be able to see the force bars, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Oh, last uh, loser's bracket match, I think? Yeah, okay. Arwope and Mandralis, uh, Mandralsic versus Bakrasanthan and Kaishan, I believe. I'm surprised they're, oh they must have had a buy or something in the winner's bracket because I'm surprised they made it this far down into the loser's bracket having only played once already. I don't know. Is this oh is the stream freezing for you guys? I don't, I don't know if the quality is being weird. It looks like it got a bit blurrier but I, I don't know. That's a great question. I think it's working. It looks like it's working fine on my end but Not freezing? Okay. I think it's just a snaily issue then. So I'm gonna say I think Black Santin and Kaishin are the favorites here. Um but we'll see what uh Mandrelsic and OFA can pull out. Wait a minute, doesn't this mean that... I don't, I don't know how the bracket is looking. Let me ask more to if I can see the bracket.
Uh, I'm curious who we have next. I want to say... I guess we have Kardaka and Monkey versus Wraith and... Ooh. Kardaka and Monkey versus Wraith and... Uh, Fezix is Jedi. I think that's who that is. Karnok? I think that's who... Yeah, Fezix is Jedi. Yeah, okay, so this is Fezix. Okay, okay, cool. So we've got Wraith, or Revenant and Fezix versus Monkey, D. Luffy, and Kardaka. This is going to be a good match, I think. Um, this is a Jedi Melee versus Jedi Commando. I think this is a fairly even game. Um, I actually think it's a very even game. Um, how about you guys type in chat who you who you think is going to win this game? Who do you guys predict? I want to hear some predictions from everybody. Any sort of a win? Honestly, no. The only way to get in these fights is just to sign up and be here. Like, there's no prerequisites or anything. You can just sign up and just show up. It's a very open, open tournament. So we've got Kardaka, Rev. Okay, one for Kardaka, one for Rev. One for, okay, two for Kardaka. Yeah, this one's gonna be good. This is gonna be a very good fight. Again, Revenant is a very experienced player. Um, Bezix, uh, also a solid player. I'm surprised he's not on his path yet, though. I didn't know he played Jedi, but we're gonna see how his Jedi does here. Kardaka. Um, definitely a solid player, uh, in his own right, um, looks like he's gonna be supporting Monkey, so Monkey's gonna have to be the carrying this match, gonna see how he does at cracking the defense that the Commando, uh, has in this match, so, well, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Look at all these people, guys. Hey, if you're in the chat, and you're in the, you know, the stands right here, Give me a like a slash cheer, everybody. Let's give me a slash cheer. I want to see how many people in this the uh, the the section are watching, the visit the uh, viewer section. I don't know when this match is gonna start, but yeah, there's some cheers. Okay, okay, all right. Took a second. That's what's up. That's awesome. Yeah, all right, awesome. Hell yeah, let's get this next match on the road, dude. I want to see this fight. Okay, we need one second. Okay. Something going on. All right, there we go. We're off. Immediate uh, CC on Monkey here. Looks like Kong shot on Kardaka, so Kong Kardaka's Mez. Looks like they're going to be trying to blow up uh, Luffy here. Rev stacking debuffs on Monkey. Riddle armor, low blow. They tried to go for a burst window there. Uh, was that with another proton grenade? Yeah, looks like there's another proton grenade. I don't know like what the, the, the proton grenade tech is from here, uh, here from Wraith, but uh, Arnox conked, or I'm sorry, he's Mez. So Revenant uh, rooted here, popping sense stake, stand fast. Gonna try to heal through this right here, but uh, looks like he's gonna have to deal with the aggression of both a fencer and a Jedi. So their little like kill setup didn't really work on uh, Monkey there. He's able to heal through it just fine, but um, Rev's gonna have to su survive until this uh, this Mez wears off. Six more seconds, and then he's uh, looking at some some backup from Arnok here from Physics, but he's staying alive decently well. Um, Sensei wearing off now. He's got Binding Strike, so he's going to be healing for much less. So, lots of pressure coming out. Monkey is stopping shotted here. He's rooted in place. Wraith really wants to get some space. Monkey is going to turn around and hit the closest thing to him. Blinded, though, and overwhelming shots, so his heals are going to be, his incoming heals are going to be a lot worse. So, we'll see. Both players are heal cut, and uh, Saber Armor broke. So, interesting to see what happens. Another Sensei coming out from Wraith. Big damage coming out, getting low. He's staying alive. He's low on uh, low in mind, but he pops some uh, pops some blues. Oh my gosh! Look at his fill. He's already like almost full. That is not good. 
They're just going hard on Wraith right now. He's having a hard time staying alive. Conk shot on Monkey. Oh no, I'm sorry. That was a Root, not a Conk shot. My apologies. Rev's heals are going to be very weak with this uh, Binding Strike. Oh, Binding Strike and Saber Armor Break is such a good combo. Like, gosh, like, Fencer, Fencer Jedi is insane. Wraith dropping. Super low. Is he going to die here? All right, he makes it out. Very low in mind, though. He's really on the defensive. Arnog needs to put on some pressure to help, like, on one of them, just to help out, uh, help Wraith. Like, they need to put one of these guys on the defensive, because right now, Kardaka and Monkey are just, like, putting on non-stop pressure, like, with no, like, repercussions, so. Monkey's got a lot of debuffs. Okay, he makes it out, though. Proton Grenade again, again. I, I, I've said this before, I don't understand the Proton Grenade tech. Flamethrower out. Gonna stack some debuffs. Monkey, getting low. Okay. Makes it over there. Got a few debuffs on him. Riddle armor wears off, unfortunately. Overwhelming shot's about to wear off, too. Wraith is very low in mind. Yeah, Wraith is in a very bad spot right here. No mind. Full health, though. Not anymore. Just took, like, half his health. Big grenade on monkey. Uh, not really much damage going out. When you do the burst window with the grenade, what you want to do is you want to throw the grenade and then swap to your heavy weapon, like your normal heavy weapon, and then hit like a like a dead bang shot or something like an instant attack that does like big damage. So, but the burst is not ideal there. Karaka stopping shot not for long though. Wears off. Wraith rooted, armor broke, and binding struck. Arnok has just not really been doing anything this game. He's just kind of been like running around, not putting on any pressure, hasn't been in receiving any pressure himself. Panic grenade coming out from Wraith. He's going to have to survive this big onslaught here. No food. Completely full. Oh, he's about to drop. He's got an extra protein wafer. He's going to drop right there. Gum gum death blow. And Wraith goes down. Unfortunate. Permanent dropping. That's just, ah, oh, he hates it. So now Arnok's gonna have to try to make something happen here. Not really done too much this match, but I think he can maybe pull it together. Uh, he's gotta like take down Luffy and then get Kardok in a 1v1. That's really his only chance, but... Melee versus Jedi is uh, still pretty rough. Not really much to say here, Arnok just trying to 1v2 best he can. Not sure how much fight he's got left in him. But at least this fight looks cool, like visually, from a perspective. He definitely put this in a a new like SWGR trailer or something. <laughs> Second here. This opportunity to read off some of the sponsors for this tournament. The following guilds are sponsoring the tournament. Um, Nexus, Remnant of Honor, Tempest Trading Company, Rust, uh, Sin, Silver, Roving Guns, and the Moss Eisley. Uh, oh, it's a meme, sorry. And uh, Oh, and of course, Mirage Plaza for hosting this event, and uh, Mendova for hosting the tournament. Thank you to all of them for putting this on and supporting it. Like, this is, this is a lot. Arnok still just trying to win the best he can here. Not really much able to happen, though. Monkey D. Luffy. Doing pretty good on his fence. He did really well this game, putting on pressure to Revenant. Kardaka is doing a pretty solid job of just kind of like playing like a support Jedi. Um, just doing a good job of following up on Luffy's pressure. 
you know, keeping up breaches, things like that. Um, all around, just a very well job. Oh man, yeah, dude, I, I love streaming this sort of stuff. I appreciate the opportunity to come out here and stream these matches for you guys and just talk over them. Even though I stutter and mess up my words sometimes, I, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and listening. Been a good tournament so far. I'm enjoying it a lot, so. I don't know how much longer this one's gonna go on for, but I think uh, Six is gonna fight till the bitter end. Wanna hear your maths and so I need to upload? Okay, yeah, yeah. I can upload this onto uh, onto YouTube, yeah for sure. I can definitely do that. If this bat didn't grease the match, I'm gonna be so pissed. Five minutes until five. Can you imagine if he survives until sudden death? That'd be crazy. Well, this fight has gone on for a lot longer than I thought it would, I'll be honest, boys. 
I am actually quite su surprised that uh, Fezzix has lived this long as Jedi 1v2ing. Yeah, I'm There it is. Gum Gum Death Blow, the match is finally over. All right, that was a long one, but well played to Kardaka and Monkey for advancing on. Uh, I think they are making it to the Losers Bracket Finals now. Um, and they are to win over Wraith and Fezzix, or Wraith and Fezzix. So well played to both teams. Um, that was good stuff. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Revenant and Fezzix are out of the tournament, but Kardaka and Monkey will move on. So. Good stuff. I think next we might have the loser bracket final match. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know what's next. I think the next is yeah, yeah, Kaishin and Black Chrysanthemum versus Kardaka and Monkey. This is the uh, this is for third place. This is to see who wins the loser's bracket. So, um, this is going to be a good match, I think. I think this is actually going to be a very good match. It's another uh, Jedi, non-Jedi versus Jedi, non-Jedi. So, instead, we have Jedi SL, like a Master Lightsaber with a SL versus a uh, Master Enhancer, I believe, plus a Fencer. So, this is, this is going to be a good match. I think this is going to be a very good match. Looking forward to this one. I also, shout outs to whoever made this arena. This arena looks really cool. I really like the way that this is laid out. This is a perfect area, honestly. I like it a lot. So this is for third place. This is to see who wins or loses bracket. So again, we have Black Santa and Kaishin Call versus Kardaka and Monkey Luffy. So this will be a good match. It looks, and I think in the finals, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we have Gertrude and Mechcheese versus uh, K-Droma and Gushman. So that will be a very, very, very good fight. So stay, make sure you guys stay around for that. Uh, I'm really hyped for that match. But in the meantime, we're going to stick around and watch this uh, Loser's Bracket Final. Um, let me hear in the chat. Uh, I need everybody's opinions. Who do you guys think is going to win this one? Monkey and Car or uh, Booyah and Kaisha? I want to hear some opinions. Yeah, I don't really get the garden in the middle. That, that that's that's a very good point. That one's a bit of a, a bit in the way, but I see three people saying booyah. Booyah Kaishin, Boo Bear, gotta go booyah, yeah, okay, okay. So we got a lot of booyah fans in the chat. They can definitely pull it off. What this is going to come down to is how much pressure can they put onto Kaishin um, without dying themselves. So obviously we saw last match Booya just basically instantly one shot both players in the other team. So um, we'll see if he's able to do that here against Monkey and Carr. But um, not sure how that's going to go. Bobo Bear. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm pulling for Bobo Bear. Oh yeah, a lot of Booyah fans. Okay, okay.
All right, here we have the countdown for this match, the Losers Bracket Final. Let's get ready to rumble, boys. This is going to be a good match. I'm super hyped for this one. Two, one, go. All right, right off the bat, Booyah running in. Rooting, rooting monkey. Call shot. We're going to see some big bursts here. Oh, Booyah's Mez. Oh, big Mez on Booyah. That was a very good call. Mez on Booyah, root Kaishin. Kaishin's going to have to stay alive here. This is actually going to be very big. Did he get rooted right in place? Oh, yeah, so both of them are going to go right on Kaishin. He might actually drop here. This is going to be very difficult for him to stay alive. How long until Booyah gets out of the Mez? 13 seconds. Kaishin has to survive for 13 seconds here. I guess 12 seconds now against this double, uh, this melee Jedi uh, team combo here. His armor broke, blinded. He really needs to stay alive here. He's doing a good job staying alive so far. Um, wafers on, right? Is that what that is? Yep, wafers. Alright, Booyah's out. Booyah's out and he's out for blood. So, instant, instant root on Kardaka. Going on to Monkey. Monkey taking half health right off the bat. Armor broke. Oh my gosh, big damage on Monkey there. Paint target. No, no paint target yet. Monkey's taking a lot of damage here. He's trying to put some pressure on Kaishin, but he's taking so much damage himself. And he's down! He gets down right away! Wow. <clears throat> big damage out there from Booyah. Very well played. Now Kardak is going to have to make something happen, although Kardak is already taking a lot of damage here. I don't know what Kardak can really do here with his build. This might be the end for the Breach Boy here, guys. Breach Boy might drop. This might be the end. Unless he can maybe like blow up uh, Kaishin super quick, but he can't even really make it to Kaishin. He's just rooted right here. Thoughts of Sensei, and he's still taking lots of damage. Booyah just unloading into car right now. I mean, steady aim plus high yield on a master master lightsaber Jedi is just oh, that just it's relentless damage right there. Kardaka or Kaishin is rooted. Root falls off. Kardaka on the ropes here. Taking a lot of damage. About to drop. Okay, big heal. Oh, it's just the, the onslaught from Booyah is just too much. And Booyah, oh, he's, he's doing great. He's got some, he's very healthy. He's got action out the like out the wazoo. Like, yeah, Kardaka, this is this is looking kind of over here. Unless Kardaka has something crazy he can pull out. Called shot, putting up the debuffs from CM. Shard retaliation. Popped. Kaishin, Kaishin has done a very good job of staying alive this tournament. Um, I'm, I'm very surprised with how well he's been able to stay alive in some of these matches with uh, with Jedi in them. Like, I did not expect him to do as well as he's done playing a uh, SL. Like, he's he's done a very good job of staying alive. So good on him. Kardaka dropping. He's got XO protein papers popped. Lots of debuffs on him. He's just trying to get on top of Kaishin, but he can't close the distance here. Oh, never mind. Maybe he can. Kaishin taking a lot of damage. He's got armor break on him. Kardaka half health. Paint target. I'm a broke, and that's it. That's the end. All right, congratulations, Buyan Kaishin, coming out in third place. Congratulations to uh, Black Assassin and Kaishin Call for the bronze medal here the, for winning the losers bracket in the high ground tournament. Well played. Well played to them. Well played to everybody that's been in the losers bracket so far. It was really good to see a lot of good fights here. So well played to Kardaka and Monkey for putting up a fight and making it for as far as they did. Because they did it, they you know they slugged through some very good fights to get here. All right, we up next we have the finals. I did not expect this to be the finals, but here we are: Mech Cheese and Gertrude versus Gushman and Cage Roma. So we've got Double Jedi versus Jedi Terras Kasi. So I want to hear in the chat what who is y'all's money on. Do you guys think it's going to be Double Jedi, or is it going to be K and Gush? Are the Euro, the Europeans going to come out on top, or the Euros going to win, or are Gertrude and Mech going to bring it home for America? Let's hear it in the chat. What do you guys think? Yeah, the next one is the finale. Yeah, yeah.
The Euros are going down. <laughs> got to vote Gertrude, okay. Oh yeah, so we've got some split, okay, so... People kind of split on this one. I am very hyped to see how this match goes. This might go into overtime, honestly. The big thing that I think that K and Gush have going for them is K right now because um, Terrascossi is obviously hard to kill. He's no Jedi, but he is a combat medic. And those combat medic debuffs are really going to wear down on Mech and Gertrude, um, in my opinion. So uh, this is going to come down to how much pressure K can put on with those debuffs and Gush being able to support him while Mech and Gertrude being able to uh, get past the crazy defenses that the Terrace Kasi Master has. So this is going to be a very entertaining match. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm glad that it was not double Jedi. On, I, you know, I expected there to be a lot of Jedi, but I'm glad that it was not um, double Jedi on both teams. So I'm looking forward to this match. All right, guys, this is USA versus Europe here again. This is going to be a good match. I'm hyped. I need to, I want to put in some bets on this one. Alright, buckle in, here we go. Final round, here we go. K drama going in right away, going on top of uh Mech Pez, throwing up some buffs, getting some dots up. Mech going right on the gush. Gush taking a lot of damage in that opener. K is rooted. Mech's going straight for Gush here. Got a few debuffs on him, but not too many. Gertrude just supporting Mech. Here. Doing a good job. Gush taking a lot of damage right here. Popping Synth Stake. Alright, Ace free now. He's going straight for Mech. Getting some debuffs on. Gertrude is mezzed in the back. Yep, looks like he was mezzed. Paralyzed, I believe. Mech breaking free here. Oh, this is 20 minutes before send death, okay? Oh, Mech pops a uh, force run, but K pops the TKM speed buff to catch up with him. Paralyzed, so now uh, Mech's a bit slowed, unless he pops a Rancor ready to get out of this. Gush is taking a lot of damage in the back. K is, doing, K is 1v2 in these Jedi right now. This man may not be attuned with the force, but he is definitely down to throw hands right here. Gush, out of mind, so not the worst thing in the world. Um. Oh, what the heck's going on over there? Okay. Uh, Gertrude chasing after Gush. K just staying on top of Gertrude right now. Mac is still paralyzed, so he's trying to catch up here. Paralyzed on Gertrude. Mac is back on Gush here. Gertrude is also on Gush. But Gush and K aren't giving Ger uh, Gertrude any room to breathe here. Just staying on top of him constantly. It's not taking too much damage. Um, a lot of CM debuffs here. Got Infect, got... Uh, electrolyte drain, that looks like it's about to fall off. Paralyze. Okay, no poison. <sighs> Nobody's really taking damage right here, it looks like. Gush is the one uh, mind. Not the worst thing in the world. But, um, looks like he and Mech are stacking debuffs on each other. K is rooted, but rooted right next to Mech, so... Big grenade going out. Gush taking a lot of damage there. Pop shard, a retail, and synth stake. And the defensive bird, wow. Popping everything right now just to stay alive. Big damage coming out. Has Mech popped any? Okay, Mech has popped some foods. Gush, not as many. Gertrude, not so much. K, okay, any foods? A little bit of food. So the, the, the food to fill ratio on both teams is uh, pretty balanced. This is a pretty even fight so far. 
I would say. Okay, trying to get some CMD bus back up on people. I just noticed he has a connect PSG. Interesting. Very interesting choice here. Um, Gush and Mech just run around throwing debuffs on each other, as they do. This fight is going to be a, a battle of force. Who can, you know, outlast the other team in force power. Now, that being said, K and Gush do have the long-term advantage. Um, obviously, uh... K does not care about the Force because he's not a Jedi, so if both Mech and Gertrude run out of Force, that's going to put um, K and Gush at a significant advantage, but going hard onto Mech now, um, some debuffs, a little low on mine, but looks like he's okay, taking some damage here, Gush just trying to create some distance, K is just kept trying to stay on uh, Mech the entire time, looks like, just trying to keep the non-stop aggression going on, but Gertrude is doing a good job of keeping Mech, you know, cleansed, alive, and, you know, well supported, so... We'll see how that uh, how that keeps up. K is just staying on top of Mech. Gush also staying on Mech. Not really swapping to Gertrude here. Knock down, knock down on both. Gertrude taking some damage here. Not really. He's doing a good job. K is doing a good job. I mean, of keeping the debuffs or I'm sorry, the dots on both players. So just you know, forcing them. You know, even if they're not really that much pressure on Gertrude, just making sure that uh, Gertrude can heal herself or, or heal herself a little bit. Just stay in the game. So, more damage on a uh, mech chest here. Not too much. A big grenade. Gets him down to about half health. Traumatize out. Very balanced game. This is a very even match so far. This is going to be a long one, folks. I feel like this will be a long one, so buckle. Gertrude getting debuffed. They're swapping off of uh, mech to Gertrude. Gosh, we're rooted. Okay, on top of Gertrude right now. They're doing a good job. Gertrude and uh, Mech are doing a good job supporting each other here. Although Mech is uh, missed right now. Oh, oh, he broke the he broke the miss with the dot. I don't know if that's intentional. Okay, it looks like it was intentional because they, they, they swapped targets. But I feel like you shouldn't be wasting your uh, mess DRs like that. But okay, I, they they must know something I don't. So, and pretty balanced here. Okay, he's doing a good job of bouncing his dots. He has the TK speed debuff, so they're not going to be able to escape in Force Run. Again, Phil is in a pretty balanced spot. They're pretty even on Phil here. Doing a good job of cleansing these debuffs off each other. Okay, he's just staying non-stop on top of people. He's doing a good job of being very sticky this game. He's been very sticky, staying on top of people non-stop. Not letting himself get kited at all by these like double range Jedi. Not really too much to say here, kind of just a lot of the same thing. <clears throat> oh, Mech taking some damage here. Big damage on Mech. Hello there. Gertrude is Mez. Oh, yeah, Paralyze. This is their chance. This is their window of opportunity. Okay, Me Gertrude is out of the Mez. Mech made it alive. Healing him up. Yep. Good force run. Get back to your teammate. Reset the fight here. You want to create some space from K. K popping Ice Cream with a Brain Freeze debuff. Using the uh, the speed buff from TK to get back in the fight. Again, lots of just force lightning and lots of spells going on right now. This is a big, uh, big range Jedi fight. But Mech taking a lot of damage right there, getting super low. But looks like he's able to heal himself. Can't really shake K right now. K is doing a very good job of staying on top of these Jedi. Swapping to Gertrude. Okay, Mez on K. No ice cream, so you can't break out of it. This is a heavily DR'd mess, though, I think. Yeah, four more seconds left on that. No synaptic shot call from, from, uh, from K either. Synaptic shot caller, for those of you that don't know, is an item from Shared Car that will break you out of Mesmerize effects. So, uh, it's, a, it's quite good for these sort of situations, but unfortunately, he did not have it there. Armor break back on Mech. Looks like maybe just trying to keep him down. Gertrude in a decent spot. I, I really wish I could get their force bars right now because they have to be getting a little low here. Okay, though, he's looks like, yeah, he's full on drink filled now. I wonder if he accidentally fat fingered Ruby Blue or something. I haven't, like, noticed him take 
like massive spikes of damage so i'm curious like why he would have that much strength though matt getting super low here he's getting down oh wow big heal there he almost dropped good pressure from uh k and gushman right now doing a good job putting them on defensive honestly good knockdown Gertrude, get up okay Richard, half out. Okay, top yourself off. Yeah, K and Gush are doing a good job of keeping the pressure on Mech here. Very good job, honestly. This is a good match. This is a very good match. It's a very even match. Knock down on here. Swap to Gush Man. Gush Man taking a lot of damage. Half health. Nope, he's good. Looks like he's safe. Swapping. Okay, Ooh, he's getting a, getting a little low there. Oh, Mez on K. Yeah, big Mez on K. Oh, and he's rooted. Eight seconds. Eight second root on K. He's far. Oh, this is bad. Gush does not need to be this far away from his teammate. So K, his heals are not. I mean, he has back to toss, but no spray or anything that he can heal Gush with. But looks like Gush is okay. He can make it out. It's a bit too far to get from your teammates, um, but it worked out in the end. So, he did have to pop a sense stake though, and his fill, his food fills in a bit of a rough spot, taking a lot of damage. Big nade on mech, mech half health. Mech low on mine on the defensive. Mech's taking a lot of damage here. He's trying to force run, but he's got electrolyte drain on. Okay, no, he's gonna make it out. The rank or eight, he's just gonna, just gonna escape here. Never mind. Slowing down. A root, he got rooted, okay. Mez on K. Big DR, right? Oh no, the DR reset. Okay, so this is a full Mez. Okay, so a full Mez here. Gush take a lot of damage. He needs to, this is a very bad situation. Your teammate's sitting in a full Mez. You do not need to be sitting line side. You need to like line side behind some houses or something right here. That's a bad. Okay, never mind. He makes it. Okay, things have evened out a bit. Knocked down on, on Mac. Whoa, that big spike of damage there. You guys saw that? Thankfully, that was a well-timed heal. I don't know if that was by him or Gertrude, but Gertrude has done such a good job this match of just staying at a safe distance from uh, K and Gush while also keeping Mech up and, you know, cleansed and healed up. He, like, he's, he's done a very good job of, like, spacing and whatnot this match, in my opinion, at least. Staying away from pressure. Gertrude staying in a mess. Full mess. Oh, and he's got a dot on, so it should break any second now. Yep. I don't know if I would be wasting my... See, that's something I, I disagree with. They're, like, wasting their Mez uh, BRs on um, just, like, putting up states. I, I I don't agree with that. It's a bad call. Gush rooted. Yeah, big, uh, big root on Gush. K going after Gertrude here. Gertrude just kind of not too worried about the pressure. Mac and Gush going to fight a little bit. Pretty slow here. Some more debuffs on uh, mech here. 10 minutes till sudden death. Okay, so we're halfway through the match until sudden death. Again, this is going to be a long one, boys. Although I'm surprised at, you know, how well both sides are playing. Root here on mech. This could potentially be big damage. If they're not careful. 5 minutes on mech's uh, spice. If they want to time a good, uh, good attack, they could... Oh! Three minutes on case spice. I'm, let's take a look at some of the spices. Five minutes on gush. Um, whoops. Uh, five minutes on Gertrude. Okay, okay. So, in a few minutes, they could definitely try to go for like a spice timing, uh, where they, you know, like you wait for someone's spice spice to come on. Oh, big damage on gush. Um, yeah, go for a spice timing where like uh, when they get spice sickness for that thirty seconds, that's when you like save all your cooldowns for and go super hard on. Um, you know, we'll see. We will see what they do here. Going on to Gertrude here. Looks like they're swapping targets. Gertrude has done a very good job, like I said, of staying away from pressure. Just kind of not too worried about getting hit here. Just running away. Mez on uh, mech. Full Mez. Yeah, full duration Mez, it looks like. It's going to make it out of that, though. Gertrude is not worried. Just running away. Healing himself up. Okay, big damage. Nope. I would have healed that. Very slow and steady here. That's the name of the game. 
Let's look at some fill. Okay, fill is even-ish. I mean, besides the Gertrude, Gertrude really not had to pop anything this match. So, um, it's kind of rough for K and Gush, but... Ooh, big push on Gush here. Gush is taking a lot of damage here. Rooted. Oh, he's got ink cap sickness! Whoa! They ink capped him, but he was able to get back up somehow, so that's, uh, might set the, the tone here. They can definitely try to, like, go super hard right now. That would, this is your opportunity. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, he has to be low on force. He has to be. Oh, there it is! Corpse! Oh, man. Yeah, he's dead. But now K has to 1v2 to here against two Jedi. K and Anon. Oh, is he forfeiting? No, he's still fighting now. Okay. He's gonna see it to the end. This non-Jedi, this man, he has nothing but the, his fists to fight these two uh, space wizards. Let's see how he does. 1v2. He can definitely out... If anybody can outlast the two Jedi, it's a TK MCM. So, we'll see how this goes here. If there's any non-Jedi build that could survive this, it would be his build, so... And he has a lot of experience playing this build. He's been playing it pretty much you know, since he's been on the server. Mac and Gertrude can kind of just like keep each other up with each other's force, not have to worry too much. Glop grenade, interesting choice. I'm not sure what he wants the blind for. Maybe to dodge, like, you know, help dodge some of the abil uh, abilities. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but. Root on K. Ooh, big hit there. This is looking bad for K. He's actually having to spend a lot of globals healing himself. Not able to put on a lot of offensive pressure. Oh, yeah, this might be the end here. A half health. Okay. Yeah, this is not looking good. Okay, Jeroma. He's in a bit of a bad spot. Pop some uh, musty stems right there. Ruby Bleal, stand fast. Strength feels in a bad spot. I have to know what these guys' uh, force is at, man. Like, I'm so curious. Grenade on Gertrude. Maybe start throwing some debuffs. Maybe, I think he's spending too many globals like, trying to punch. He, he really needs to just be throwing CM stuff. I mean, okay, no, he is now, but I feel like that's what you want to do here. Just keep up your defensives, keep up your heals, and just throw combat medic stuff. Mez on mech. About a break here. Not a lot of opportunity for him to get much damage in on Gertrude, unfortunately. Use the forest, yeah. Hey, what's up? He's played. Yeah, this is a really shitty situation right here. Okay, half health. Nope. Heal himself up. Rooted, knockdown, half health. The bet like his best bet is to just survive until sudden death and just wait out their force bus because again like I said when they're out of force that's his opportunity what the hell one pop CW buffs that's what it sounded like I don't know I don't know what that was I don't know what that was glop grenade interesting choice again not a lot of debuffs on Gertrude okay never mind he's starting to stack them up now Gertrude my queen yes Aconite yeah Gertrude's in the finals here this is the finals again for those of you that just joined um, it was uh, Mechchez and Gertrude versus K Drama and Gush. But Gush is dead, so now it's a two v one. Mez, okay, Mech on uh, Spice Sickness. This is his opportunity. Uh, K's opportunity. Oh, he popped the Gorax here. No spice though. Oh, that's what he popped. There's Gorax here. That's what the sound effect was. Okay. Gertrude, a full line of debuffs. Almost. Yeah, I don't know here, boys. This is not looking so good. Okay, okay half health. Let's look at these debuffs he's got on. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sap. I forgot about this. Yeah, his regen's gonna be a little fucked. <clears throat> so, unlike the Jedi, uh, Kay's mind bar is actually super important. Um, so, if this starts draining down a bit, then. He's going to be a really bad spot, but 
Um, I really don't. How much? How much longer until sudden death? Like this has got to be like coming up soon. Like this guy just will not die. They just can't hit him. This is the thing about Tereskasi, like why it's so good. Like even against Jedi, like they just they just can't hit you. Like they hit you once like that. Like he, he gets like he drops down super low, but then he just heals right back up. He stops the next couple hits. But they were doing a good job earlier of uh, keeping his health down, but he was able to weasel out of that pressure. So. Time to kill 9999 hours? Yeah, I agree. It sucks. Yeah, this is the, uh... Three minutes until sudden death. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, this is just, uh, this is Jedi right here. Jedi versus Terius Kasi. Actually, this is more of a Terius Kasi galaxies rather than, um, Jedi, because, this, like, this, this profession just does not die. Especially with this sort of build where um, Master Combat Medic. I know everybody in the chat is having a great time watching two Jedi try, like, try to kill this dude that punches. Yeah, this is a server you wanted. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is their server right here. The people you see on my screen, this is their server. We just live on it. <laughs> Yo, Orange, you watching this? <laughs> yeah! They just can't kill this guy. Like, I, I just don't- I just don't know- <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, Glob Grenade coming back out. More CMD buffs, like, they have to be getting low on force, like, there's no way they're not, right? There's no way they're almost out of force. They're not almost out of force. Like, they literally are just sitting here zapping this guy non-stop, and it's just, it's just doing nothing. Okay, pop the CM, uh, or, uh, TKM speed buff, making it out of that room. Down on Gertrude, grenade. Doing some damage here. Maybe force a heal. Those heals are worth a lot of mind. Or not mind, um, force power, so. They're getting low, that's that's good. Knock down half health, okay. He's full like almost full fill. Half health, okay. They've got him on the ropes here. He can't pop any foods either. I mean he can pop, he can pop some foods, but not really any bleal or like drinks or anything, so. This is definitely their chance to make something happen. Oh, you got a spice back up. I didn't even see that. I guess we're going to sudden death now? A 1v2, like, 1v2 deathmatch? Wow, okay. What are they continuing? Like, it's K all the way over there. I don't know what's going on. I need to turn this down, I'm sorry. That was way too loud, way too loud. Alright, sudden death. We're into the sudden death now. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, in Sudden Death, uh, all they are doing is they are clicking off their faction, or not faction, their class specific buffs. So, uh, we've only got like Doc buffs, Ent buffs, things like that. Um, mech sitting a uh, full mez right away. Grenade going down okay, going on to Gertrude. Um, thing is, Jedi buffs still very powerful. Oh, thanks for damage there. 
I don't know if they had any opportunity to regen their force though, so their force might still be kind of low in this match. Correct me if I'm wrong. For anybody in the chat that played a sudden death match, can you tell me if you guys got all your force back before sudden death or not? I'm curious, but. Oh, taking a lot of damage here. Not in a good spot. He Remember, he can't use food here at all. Like, he has to use basically just his natural kit. Is that a stem? They use a stem? Let's look in the combat log. I don't see a stem in the combat log here. Yeah, so stems are not allowed in Sun Death. Um, obviously, it's no foods, no consumables, nothing. So I, I, I didn't see a stem in the combat log, so I say we just keep going, but. is pissing <laughs> so yeah it's, uh sudden death has not really changed too much from before it's just a walking around a building oh it's half health it's getting low on mind this is this might be winnable but the double jedi finally is rooted spending a lot of mind here i think it's a dr uh dr mess no full full mess here this gives him an opportunity to reach in a little bit. His mind is still a bit low, though. Struggling to keep that up. But if you can create some space here. This is mine, that Okay. Spice. Hey, man. It's all right. Glock grenade. It's going to help him survive. Oh, it missed. He missed the Glock grenade. Okay. He's in a very bad spot. He's low on mind. Um, he might drop here. I, I really don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, it's, what's his COB at? Actually, that's a good question. 12 seconds. Okay. Got three applied here. Yeah, we're all calling cheats. Yeah, that's a great question, dude. This is not looking good for K here. He's getting low. Low health, low mind. I'm probably standing too close to them, bro. I'm like in the middle of this fight. <laughs> Okay, grenade going out. Some debuffs. He needs to be conservative with his uh, CMD buffs because without food buffs, this is going to take a lot of mind, honestly. Low mind. This guy's been like low mind for like the entire fight, I feel like. No action though. He's out of action, getting low on mind. This four staff is really like paying its dividends right now. They're just zapping him non-stop, dude, like, and he just won't die. Like, this is insane. Like, I don't even know how to commentate this anymore, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like, I don't even know what to fucking say. Finally, the restoration stream, never seen him anymore. Well, I have bad news for you, brother. You tuned in at a bad time, but uh, also a good time. Uh, this this server is a lot, of, a lot of fun right now. Um, this is the finals of a 2v2 tournament we're having here on lock uh, on Russo. It's been a, good, been a really good tournament, a lot of good matches so far. Uh, this final match though is just taking a long time. This, <laughs> this Terrace Kosti combat match just will not die. Grenade coming out. Oh, dude, his mind is just like, it, every time it gets a little low, like it, he does. He like slips away, and then it regens back up a little bit. They just can't catch this guy. Man. It's crazy. Even with no stems, no food, no nothing. Like, oh, knockdown. Thinking a knockdown into a root, maybe. Big opportunity. Okay, full heal there from K.
This is their opportunity. He's getting super low here. At least he's been getting low for this entire time. But, we'll see. Slow on mech here. Oh, Galactic Fortitude tokens. That's what I like to see. We got 25 for this event. Thank you very much to the staff for handing out the tokens. That's awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Gertrude mezzed on the other side. Like, they literally just cannot. Okay, first one coming out. They just can't catch this guy. They just can't lock him down long enough to kill him. Oh, his mind is super low here. Yeah, he's trying to outlast their force power right now. Um, that we're in sudden death. Uh, he's Terras Kasi, combat medic. Oh, he's out of mind though, so this is very bad. He's in a very bad spot. He's out of mind, and he's rooted out in the open, so no LOS here. What's the time on COB? 35 seconds. Okay, he's fine on COB then. Look at the. Oh my gosh. They just missed so many times, and his mind is able to just cut back right there. Like, look at that. Do they have channel force? Uh, I don't know. They might. I. I'm not 100% familiar with their builds. I think they're both like enhancer or something like that. I know, I know Mech is power. I think Gertrude is like enhancer or something. Uh, if I call it correctly. General buffs? No general buffs, right? Am I tripping? Yeah, I don't think they use any general buffs. Yeah, the uh, no GCW buffs were allowed in this uh, this tournament. It was just food and class buffs. Um, but now they're in sudden death, like I was saying before. And in sudden death, it's no food buffs, just only class and class buffs. No stims, no food, no nothing. So okay. people are saying he's SF, so he's getting the general innate armor. Oh. My gosh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's allowed, guys. I don't know if I gotta ask on that. I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's SF, so he's getting the innate armor from being general. I mean, I, I, this is not my tournament, so I don't know the ruling on that. That seems kind of good, but uh, to each their own. But he's just gonna last for three more minutes until. <laughs> and then his buffs are completely wiped, so. Is he going to put us through three more minutes of this? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Yeah, might as well pop the buff. He's popping the speed buff to get out of there, dude. Like, man, this guy, like... I don't know what he... I, I don't know what he thinks he can do here, honestly. Like, I, I, I mean... I don't think he can outlast their force power at this point, right? Like, he's just not able to put on enough pressure. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I have no clue. I have no clue. Okay, maybe he can. Okay, no. He's able to kill there. Ooh, no, no, this is their chance. This is their chance. He pops stand fast. No mind here. This is their opportunity. <laughs> if there was ever an opportunity, it was right here. Oh, he's so low. exploit trauma. <laughs> Call out an airstrike, dude. Yeah, dude. Get an airstrike with some troopers. Maybe drop a banner, dude. Yeah, I don't know. He's so close. He's been so close for like 10 minutes, guys. Like, this shit's crazy. If you ever doubt the tankiness of Terrace Kasi, 
let this match be a testament to that. I don't even know how the heck I'm supposed to edit this for YouTube, I'll be honest. Guys, I want to go get food, man. Yeah, just <laughs> that could just go really fast. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right, here we go in double overtime. Uh, K versus uh, Gertrude and Mech. Do they have no Jedi buffs? Is that what it is? Or they have Jedi buffs too. No Jedi buffs. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. In a no buff versus no buff, K might actually be able to kill them. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's actually, like, that's crazy. Sick armor bot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish this was in the base game, honestly, but it's pretty cool. Like, this is, this is insane. Okay, never mind. Nah, no shot, no shot. They just need to burst him down with Force Lightning super quick. Mez there breaks. Knockdown. His mind is so fucked, man. Like, there's no way he can survive this, right? Yeah, I don't know if I would waste dots, or waste my mind on dots, but I don't know. Oh no, this might be it. He's out of mind. COB... Okay, he's got COB up. Nah, this is it, I think. This is the end. Unless he gets a heal off here. Oh, he got a heal off! No shot. And he's running... Oh my gosh, he made it out of there. That's so... That is so crazy, dude. How did he make it out of there? Now he's like almost full health. He slowed, okay? No, this is this is this has gotta be the end here. This has gotta be it. Mez. Full Mez on Gertrude. Big heal. No, nah, no way. Mez is about to wear off, yep. He's dead. There it is! Oh, the Rosé cameo. Damn, there it is! After like a half hour. It's literally a half hour like fight, dude. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, there you have it, folks. Mech Chez, or Mech Cheese, and Gertrude are your winners of the High Ground Dueling Tournament. Or the 2v2 tournament, I'm sorry. Congrats to them. Big congrats to everybody that participated in this tournament. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that I I don't have to fight against that. That was awful. Um, but uh, 
great, great stuff to Mac and Gertrude. They really deserve it. They did very well in a lot of these fights. They played, like, the one versus Buya and Kaishin that was very well played. Like, the one against Gush and um, K, obviously, they played that really well. So, good stuff to all of them. Um, I think I put some betting money. People were doing side bets. I think I, I, think I put a, a 50k on the double Jedi. Yeah, 75 credits, there we go. 7,500, 75,000, whatever. Yeah, so first place we have Mech Cheese and Gertrude. Second place we have Gush and K Droma. Third place we have Black Chrysanthemum and Kaishin Call. So good stuff to everybody. Um, congrats to the you know the winners. Thank you again to everybody that played in the tournament. Shout outs to everybody that came out here to watch. Like there's a lot of people out here. This is awesome. I love this. Big event here. I hope we see this again more often. Um, there's a whole, a whole bunch of people. I haven't even seen it forever out here. Like, I, haven't, I haven't seen some of these folks in a while, but it's awesome to see everybody out here. Second fleet, second place. Oh, they get 2.5 mil each. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Holy shit. Dang, 5 mil each for the first place? Whoa. Third, 500k each. That's still pretty good. 500k for third place? That's not bad, dude. But GG's to everybody in the tournament. That's awesome. Oh, visibility is back. Everybody start spam reporting Jedi. <laughs> That was like a blink. Who died in that? Mandralistic and uh, a wife, I think. Thank you. Did you catch who died quickest? Uh, good. I mean, guys, that was a lot of fun to watch. Good stuff to everybody. Hey, Talrain. Great. What's great up, commentary, dude. Are you, you going to update your yeah, PvP uh, list? My PvP? Yeah, are you going to update that now? Can I still say it at the bottom? Uh, no, no, no. So I, I have a, I have a separate list for Jedi. You're actually enough. a great job though on the commentary stuff. I hope you upload it. I won't watch that stuff later. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll try great to upload it. Dude. I'll wait for my Rebel News uh, update. Oh yeah, dude. everybody here for Mendova. Yay! Yeah. So will we yeah, see a recap on Cosmar News Network? Yeah, Cosmar Network dude. coming back. Are we gonna get a recap on it? <laughs> yeah, man. Hell yeah. I heard there was a prize for this. Yeah, you well, it's supposed to get five mil, I think. Big money? Yeah, winners get five each. Second place gets 2.5. There's some like, audience prizes as well. Oh. Some raffles, yeah. dude? Got some raffles? I think best, <laughs> best dressed That almost pay for all the consumables. <laughs> <laughs> what I use the most of, yeah, probably stims, thermals. Yeah. Yeah, K was not one to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, insane. NPC Death Award. I don't know. I would get Booyah to pay me out for taking the dive. <laughs> Man, Dralisk got the got the meme NPC award. <laughs> Is he still here? Is he? No, he balanced using tattooing. Okay, give me it then. I'll take his money. <laughs> I'll take my money back, I should say. What was the payout on that last fight? I don't know who you, what the odds were. Oh, the, um, here, it was, uh, the favorite was Dirt and Mech, so the payout would have been really? 75k. Yeah, I put the favorite as Gert and Mech, oh. Gertrude and Mech, yeah, that's and 
the winners and they won obviously and filet orenok and tell rain were the only three to bet on them dude i walked out of the dude, <laughs> i'm walking out of this tournament with like 200k in side bet money dude hell yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i just got yep i think i won every bet i did i did win every one i want to see yeah it. You're lo you're welcome, guy. <laughs> yeah, thank I you. went down 200k because of that. <laughs> I didn't have time to set proper odds, so I just went with flat rate on everything. I'm tipping you 250. Oh, so, uh, was fun. Oh, you're good, dude. You don't need to do that. <laughs> most interesting fighter, Kaishin. Why? How am I the most interesting fighter? Yeah, that's <laughs> fake as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 I actually did a great job staying alive, dude. To be honest, you stayed alive for some of those at burst. Yeah, it was recognized. Your line of sight was just like, okay, switch oh, back. No. You actually were cancer. Oh shit, dude. He's floating. What the heck? What's he doing up there? Is it is the server back down? Ed Oh shit. Well, thank you everybody in the stream for tuning in. I appreciate you guys very much for all tuning in second through the tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, I'll put it on YouTube eventually, but uh, this is a very fun event, so it was really good to see all these people coming out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.